Hello, I wanted to make a short video about the full cycle of Atriplex hortensis and how we grow it in the greenhouse, starting from uh, early spring and March until late August. So, Easter Sunday. Snow is totally encompassing the entire greenhouse. Good 120 centimeters at least all the way around. Despite a meter of snow outside, it's plus 20 in the greenhouse. On the inside, however, I was just finishing prepping oh, about a quarter of the greenhouse now. And something I do, which is a little bit unusual, but works very well is to save a couple of lamb's quarters uh, that have gone to seed. This one has been hanging on my stub bed all winter. And then to plant them, uh, or to sow them, I should say, which is something that I call active weeding, where you sow the plant that you want uh, to take over as a weed so that you fill the gaps while you're waiting to put um, your crop in. And this is something that gives you an extra crop, and it also keeps other weeds from taking over your space. Despite the frost on the ground, the seeds still seem to sprout without any problems at all. By April, we see they're already sprouting quite well. Added to the first salad on the 4th of May. So weeks later, as you can see, where I whack the red atrimix. That's exactly where I've got bunches of the stuff now. Now you could argue that I should have done it more evenly. If you look closely, you can see that carrots from last year's carrot seed production also sprouting. some onions and nettle. So it's a lot more fun when you have a mixture, I think. Let's see what comes up. I even saw some let's see now. It's coming up as well. So I have let's see carrots, a nature mix, onions, nettle. So now it's early summer, it's mid-May, and as you can see, the red atrimix is doing really well. We've been eating lots of it in the last couple of weeks. You just take the top, the biggest ones, and since there's so many, new ones just come up beneath them. You can just keep harvesting and harvesting. And you can see they're related to, this is, Amaranth. They're in the same family as is Lamb's Quarters, which is there. Also in the same family. And in the back, I have some quinoa back there, together with salad and mouse melon and Bhutanese cucumber that are being started. And you can see also I have some self seeded carrots that are coming up here as well together with the HMX, so it's just one wave after the other. Here I've got my different kind of amaranth. This is seed amaranth, opal pale, from uprising seed, which I've saved myself. Udo, baby Udo's, and here we've got 
mature-ish Udo. We also have Udo at a ripe stage outside. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of different kinds of Amaranthia family this year. There's a different kind of a different variety there, similar to the red atrimix, but green instead. You can see the differences. Regular lens quarters. The green atrimix. The red atrimix. Eat your weeds. water shortage. We only had a few hours of rain all summer. It's now not permissible to water with the drip line. As you can see, I have been doing there. Now I have to water by hand, which means I'm harvesting everything that I can harvest that I don't need a water that could take water, including the Atriplex hortensis. And I wonder if this is some kind of record-breaking specimens here. I only kept five of the ones that I originally sewed, showed uh, earlier in this clip, and they are now th over three meters tall and have thousands and thousands of seeds. Anyway, this is the end of this, that cycle. The next thing I'll do is to drive them. And finally, in early August, the seeds are ripe. It's time to chop them down and dry them and then uh, store the seeds for next season. And at last we share the seeds of Norwegian Seed Savers, the Norwegian Community Seed Bank.